Hello and welcome to the July 2013 uh, Kula Yoga Shala Healing Arts Center practitioner interview this month. We are sitting down in the garden with our very own Julie Allen who is a licensed massage therapist at Kula and she offers a variety of different healing modalities that she's going to tell us a little bit more about and if she looks familiar it's because you always see Julie hanging out either offering chair massage or balancing on a slack line or chilling in a hammock or doing some acro outside so it's such a, a vital part of this space and, and thank you so much for sitting down to do this thank you Scott. <laughs> for sure so could you tell us a little bit about um, just your entrance into doing healing arts work and why that um, resonated for you as a career path um, I didn't know you could do massage as a job until I met somebody when I was in school to be an educational teacher and I realized he told me all about it and I realized that that's something that I could do as a career and it just really seemed interesting so I looked into it I talked to my family about it and I went to school and while I was in school I realized that that's that's the right path for me and I can't, I can't necessarily say, like, because of this reason, just everything about it feels right. Everything that I do uh, seems to be, uh, <laughs> every, whenever I try to do something new and it works out, and I see that that's, that's the way to go. And I just, it's so consistent with massage that way. Um, <laughs> so is it just like a sense of rewarding from being able to help people or I feel like I intuitively connect with people and I, I like the rewarding sense of helping somebody and seeing that they just feel so much better you know, for the most part it's all physical but a lot of times um there's the emotional connection through repeat clients and things like that that mm -hmm. I just I don't know how to explain it. It reminds me of the, the saying like our issues are in our tissues. Oh I love that I've never heard that before. <laughs> yeah it's great so it's like yes obviously you're palpating muscle tissues and connective tissue and things but you know so much gets released when people are letting go of tension I see it and you know, just in yoga all the time, and I'd imagine in massage it would be very similar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, your training is then in you, a few different things that you do. Can you tell everybody about that? Um, there's the, the regular Swedish and deep tissue. Um, I can do pretty deep tissue if that's something you're interested in. Um, I can make it hurt, but I don't recommend it. Um, I also do prenatal massage. And I do it sideline rather than using one of those weird pregnancy belly pillows where you're propped with uh, pillows under your head, a pillow to support your shoulders, and a pillow to support your hips. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly for pregnant women, but it can be used for other conditions where it's uncomfortable to lay face down for long periods of time or face up for long periods of time, mm -hmm. um, like Crohn's disease or if you have severe sinusitis. like. You know, you put your face in a little cradle and you just, yeah. it's really swollen and uncomfortable. Yeah, it's, that's hard. I know I don't even have that, but <laughs> just from getting a massage from face down for too long, I feel yeah. sinus pressure. So sideline massage is good for any of those kinds of conditions. And uh, I also do Zen Shiatsu, which is uh, similar to Thai Yoga Massage. You're fully closed on the floor. And um, as the practitioner, I'm palpating meridians and doing a lot of stretches to balance out the energy flow through your body. Mm -hmm. And that's probably my favorite treatment to perform. And I really like to do it outside. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I know from just having worked with you, you know, I had received the Zen Shiatsu as well as the deep tissue and... They're both amazing, and everybody that I hear, you know, that has had 
work uh, from you is just raves mm -hmm. about it, and and so I feel like it's just a gift because you're bringing so much healing to the space, you know. And anything that you would want to share with people, and just in terms about um, body work in general, like if somebody hasn't ever received body work. Um. Well, I'm here all the time, so if you want to come talk to me about any specific issues that you're wondering if massage will be good for them. Mm -hmm. For most cases, massage is great for everything. Um, some things are contradicted, contraindicated, uh, like circulatory issues, but that doesn't mm -hmm. mean you can't get a massage. It just means that it needs to be modified for you specifically. Mm -hmm. I do chair massage pretty frequently, especially at movie night, so I can, uh, that's a good way to meet me, see if, uh, see if you like me touching you. It's right. Always, and I like to give hugs too, so. <laughs> awesome. Come hug me. <laughs> Come hug me. <laughs> awesome. And can also, I forgot to mention too, find you on the water all the time because, um, you're into paddle boarding and I think did you are you competing in paddleboard I'm a sponsored racer, racer yeah paddleboard awesome. racer um blue line sponsors me and sushi joe sponsors me uh huh and swell picks is uh, I think it's run by this guy named Adam I think I've got a sticker on my board right right <laughs> <laughs> um that's awesome and so I do uh competitive surfing paddle surfing and competitive paddleboard racing awesome so and you are Getting ready to start yoga teacher training in the fall. Yeah, and then I want to do paddleboard yoga. <laughs> nice. Followed up by a massage on the on the board. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Well, thank you so much for doing this. Anything else that you wanted to add? No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.